In light of the recent article in the New York Times about Hasidic yeshiva education, I decided that it was finally time for me to come and say that I too am a victim of the Hasidic yeshiva education. I'm 30 years old, married with five kids, no college education, and no job. Instead, I'm a game show host and filmmaker. Now, here's the thing. Most of my game shows are at corporate events and parties. Ironically, mostly Hasidic-run businesses. Do you know how strange it is to be doing a game show for an uneducated Hasidic individual running a multi-million dollar company or perhaps a real estate mogul? He might own a bunch of nursing homes or just a very successful e-commerce business. It's crazy. You know what else? I oftentimes do game shows for schools, Hasidic schools. They take an hour, a full hour, time that they're supposed to be educating our children. And instead, they use that time to do a game show, an interactive and educational game show. It's ridiculous. Listen up. Since I'm 20 years old, instead of going to frat parties and clubs, I have to come home and spend quality time with my amazing family. And during vacation time, instead of going to Myrtle Beach, I'm out having beautiful vacations with my family. At 25 years old, instead of buying a fancy sports car like most guys would want to, I had to buy a house for my family to live in. In addition to that, I also fly as a hobby. Now, being that my school only taught me the basic A, B, C, D, I had to go and learn Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Do you know how difficult that was? The yeshiva education is terrible. This also affects the next generation. My oldest daughter is eight years old and she goes to a girls only school. Not only that, every kid in her class actually comes from a traditional family with two parents. And when she comes home, instead of doing TikToks and Instagram reels, she goes to play with friends. She rides bikes, rides scooters, and even plays with dolls. Hello, we are in 2022, right? Now, because of my upbringing in Hasidic Yeshiva, I keep the Sabbath, which is as primitive as it sounds. No driving, no working, and no use of electronic devices. All we can do is take long walks, eat long meals, and spend quality family time. It's times like this that I realize just how terrible and broken the Hasidic yeshiva system is. Now, like myself, most of my friends and neighbors also only have a basic yeshiva education, which means that for a living, we are stuck doing things like real estate, mortgages, nursing homes, e-commerce, IT, marketing, and all of that stuff, which is extremely limiting. Then you have people like my father who've been teaching for over 30 years, and I ask him, how is it that you walk into a classroom every single day to educate, to teach morals, and to fill these young minds with the wisdom that they are so hungry for, when instead you could have been a scientist, an engineer, or maybe even a lawyer? That would have been so much more meaningful to your life instead of impacting these thousands of students that you had and changing their lives forever. Dear elected officials, the time to act is now, or we might have another generation of Hasidic families. Families who have the lowest homicide and suicide rates. Families who have extremely low rates when it comes to violent crimes and narcotics use. A community where our police department feels welcome and safe. A community that has virtually no homelessness. A community that has the highest rate of volunteer and charity given. I am a victim of Hasidic Yeshiva, and I hope that there are many, many more.